I'm gonna sit here-ish. That sounds good. And Jeffrey's there, and it's an interesting setup. So, Yakuza 6 is the, do you wanna take a guess? Uh, uh, probably the seventh Yakuza game, maybe eighth Yakuza game. Yakuza 6 <laughs> is, depending on how you wanna count, somewhere between the sixth and 13th game. <laughs> In this series. <laughs> of course it is. Okay, yeah. Uh, so let's. I'll do the list real quick. I might get these a little bit out of order, but it's so in Japan the series is uh, Ryuga Gotoku, um, which means like a dragon. Of course, which makes more sense given that the main character is like is a dragon, not in the yakuza for the vast majority of his life. Oh, really? He, he, he the first game opens with him in the yakuza. At the end of chapter one, he is expelled. Uh, Spoilers for Yakuza 1, a game that came out in 2005. <laughs> if you cared, you would have already checked I'm it out. I'm actually kind of impressed that they've got that many if they started in 2005. They have been working on these. Wow. So yeah, we've got Yakuza 1, Yakuza 2, uh, and then on the PS3, the first one is Yakuza Kinzan, which is set in like 1608 in Japan or something like that. Of course it's it is. Sword. It's of course, the, the real name again, uh, Ryuga Gokutu. Yeah, Ryuga Gokutu. Kinzan, which means arrives. Um, oh, Coconut Kid, that is like the very beginning of the hints of the insane <laughs> melodramatic crime drama story that happens in that first game. Should I get started? These are amazing. Yeah, go ahead and start. So, so this one opens with a, mostly a bunch of cutscenes. Um, you'll, you'll do fine on normal, probably. Uh, starts with a bunch of cutscenes. Basically going, hey, remember how Yakuza 5 ended? We're going to pick you up from there and carry you forward. Uh, it's funny, when they show you the sort of, like, the saving icon, it looked like a, it was a loading icon. Like, oh, I didn't even read the text. I was like, oh, I'm waiting for something to appear <laughs> before I continue. Oh, nice. There's a little uh, Japan tip oh, well, here on the loading screen. There's tip, tips for living in Japan? Itadakimasu. You don't pronounce the U at the end of words in Japanese. so that's itadakimasu. Oh, really? Oh, yes. interesting. Uh, Do you even just like slightly breathe out a little bit at the end? Not that I can see. Okay. But then I spend I, I have... all my time in Kansai and in these games they talk about the Kansai accent all the time. Oh, okay. Oh wait, no, this part is not the, the resolution of Yakuza 5 yet. This is setting up this game. Okay. Uh, you know, drinks in games have, start, have been looking better and better lately. They're still not they, quite there. They spend a lot of time on the drinks. All of those bottles, those are all real. Like, wait, you mean real, like, real liquor brands? Ah, oh, okay. Okay. Uh, man, we're really depressed already. Oh, the I'm, game sound is echoing. Do you want to turn the I can turn the game more? sound down a good ways, yeah. Cool. It's all subtitles anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. As long as I can tell I'm being shot or something. Okay, so what this guy doesn't know is that Kiryu is uh, going to destroy him because he's the strongest one there is. Can you tell me who Kiryu is? Is uh, that the depressed guy? The Kiryu's the depressed guy. That's you. Okay, that's me. Okay, I'm Kiryu. Uh, Kazuma Kiryu. That's the Japanese last name first. Uh, the dragon of Dojima. I love, by the way, when they write English dialects into subtitles. Yes. For, like, like, with these, like, F-E-R for four. You know, stuff like that. Like, yes. Oh, that says something about the character. Yeah, they're trying to approximate the fact that this guy does not have a oh, Tokyo a, accent. A refined Tokyo accent. Uh, you're down near uh, Hiroshima in this scene, which you don't know yet in the game, but... Not if you were Japanese, you might recognize his accent more roughly than you were. <laughs> This guy's got enormous shoulders. I'm glad I'm not going to fight him. Or maybe it's just a puffy shirt. Maybe he wears a puffy shirt so his shoulders look He's bigger. got like a weird waistband thing. It looks like uh, maternity pants. <laughs> he also... Yeah, he's got a very... He walks like he just crapped his pants. He does. So you're going to get your... Onomichi in Hiroshima Prefecture. Okay. 
Ready to tussle? Huh? Here comes your combat tutorial before we spend a bunch of time watching cutscenes to connect Yakuza 5 to this game, which we're just going to talk over. So, so you just basically like invited me here for movie nights? Is that kind of... It's, you, once we get to the real game game, totally <laughs> worth doing. Okay. Okay, so this guy... So he's Yakuza. He's... Kiryu hangs out Yakuza. with Yakuza a lot for a guy who insists he's not Yakuza. <laughs> He does look like he's had like some eye work done. Like, it, like you? yeah, no, it just looks like he's, he's like, had plastic surgery or something. There's something strange, like stretched about the skin around his face. I think it might be. I don't know. I remember when I when I was younger, um, there was a family I went to church with. Like they were in there. Oh, I'll tell you about that. Rush of a thug. You're not even faint. <laughs> yeah, like, whatever. No big deal. So, L1. L1. Yeah! Oh, my arms glow when he hits me. That's... Yep. So... X to dodge. Uh, oh, wait, do I need to not be guarding when I dodge? Yeah. R1 lets you, like, circle around them. Okay. And don't... You can't do it with only L1. Gotcha. So, trade, so. Yeah, use R1 and move around a little bit. Oh, R1. So I hold R1 to lock yeah, on to hold one? R1. Okay. Rush, rush, rush. Yeah, you can just sort of... Square, square, square. <laughs> the finishing blow is a really low um, uppercut to the body. So Coconut Kid says you have to the movie, the game. There actually is a Yakuza the movie. Were you just watching it? That we were watching earlier. There's very little to do with the plot of the game. Uh, but Kiryu's fists do catch on blue fire at one point. So that's pretty good. Uh, I think you're just allowed to fight him now and he's telling you. Sometimes you'll see a triangle telling you to hit the triangle. If okay. you see that, uh, cool stuff will happen. Okay, so where will I see it? Ah! Oh, extreme, extreme heat mode! Heat orbs can be used. Why oh, it's called heat? That's interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna use that. I, I'm, I'm, sticking, I'm sticking with my thing where I, I'm illiterate when I play video games. Uh, hit R2. And you're just gonna deal with that. Square, 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 square! Triangle! Oh, oh okay. I wasn't expecting that. So this is kind of like um, uh, one finger death punch, and then sometimes you need to you go into a special mode or you gotta do a quick time event. And this the combat system changes with every game, and I haven't played that much six. Uh, so, well, I could have grabbed a brick and beaten him down with a brick. Yes, you could have beaten the living crap out of him with all sorts of things. Oh, uh, Cloudcraft. The combat in this game is actually, at least in the earlier games, I've played six as much, is actually pretty good. Um, but it's pretty good in a, I feel so stylish and cool at this combat that I've learned. Uh, much less than it is. I feel so precise, precise and mastered, and the, mastered the technical challenge of trying to learn this combat system. Yeah. Yeah, so I've been playing Hollow Knight, which is kind of, it's the, it's the only Souls-like game I've been able to actually get into. Okay. Partly just because it's it's combat system, like so, so there's some Souls-like games where it feels like the combat system is clunky on purpose. Right. And that one's not, it's not clunky, it's very it's slick. Okay. But it's got the same kind of like, you have to, you really have to anticipate your enemy's movement to do exactly the right thing in response. We got important stuff come, happening. Here comes the twist. <gasps> he really is a dragon! No, what? No, he just has a cool dragon tattoo on his back. What? What? What's that? Is he gonna make frosting? Is that powdered sugar? Nope. Oh, Kiryu is giving an example of why he's the best. Effort. What is he doing I'm off screen? Doing. I don't! 
I don't know what he's doing. What? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> so it's important to note, when you start playing this game, if you follow the series, you have no fucking clue where this baby came from. Why is he with this baby in Hiroshima? This makes no sense. Wow. Uh, and now we get a bunch of flashback <laughs> backstory. <laughs> the two stories. This is this is straight from the ending of Yakuza Five. Okay. Uh, this is your adopted daughter, okay. Haruka. There's a, at least one really creepy person in that audience who looks like she's from a Japanese horror movie. Probably. Uh, here, Haruka is admitting that her her father figure is an ex Yakuza. Uh, Coconut Kid, you cannot play as the baby. In Yakuza 5, you do play as a baby, as, as Haruka. Oh, okay. You can do dance battles. Everyone else in the game is for living a shadow of people, and Haruka does dance battles on the quest to become an idol. These games are amazing, you guys. Uh, so yeah, okay. The third game is Kinzan, which means Yakuza arrives. It's the first Yakuza game on the PS3. Uh, no. Yeah, 4 comes out, then the first PSP game, then uh, Ryu ga Gotoku of the end, known in America as Yakuza the Death Souls, a zombie spinoff. Okay. That's not a joke. Oh, no, I'm not, I didn't think you were joking. Then the other uh, PSP spinoff, uh, both of which, by the way, got a one season TV show that accompanied them. The PSP spinoffs, not the main series. Okay. Uh, then. They all start the same main character, except for the one in the 1600s. And even then, it's the same voice actor and a similar character model. Like it's that character in a new setting. It's kind of like like Batman in ancient Japan yeah. kind of situation. And the zombie spinoff is uh, it's a it takes place after two, but it tweaks the ending of two, where a character who died at the end of two uh, instead becomes an okonomiyaki chef and lives in Kosaka making people delicious uh, like fried dumplings with octopus in them. <laughs> um, Kiryu's been got shot. And even though you get an important rule of the Yakuza series is that uh, guns in combat are bad, they're dangerous, but they're not a big deal. Cutscene guns are very dangerous. <laughs> Cutscene guns can actually kill people. Uh, yeah, and then... So that's after... That one, and then... Uh, four... I think it went four... Then... Ishin? I honestly can't remember for sure. That's the other one. That one's set in the 1800s, Japan. Uh, and your your main combat style is a sword in one hand and a pistol in the other, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, no, I I had a friend actually once who used to whenever he got bored would just act out pantomime battles where he had a sword in one hand and a pistol in the other, and they, yeah. they were really epic. It's and that game does like it brings all these old characters back and recasts them in the 1800s, and it plays on the fact that you're like, well, that guy was the bad guy in the first game to make you think you know what roles they're going to play, and then it twists who they are. <laughs> Uh, so is it, is it kind of like Cloud Atlas, the game? A little bit like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then then Zero, which goes back to the 80s, and like, has the amazing... Before thing. he becomes the Yakuza, or like... He's, he is a young Yakuza in the 80s. Okay. Just starting out. And actually he gets kicked out of the Yakuza at the end of Chapter 1 in that game also. <laughs> okay. But by the end of it you get back in. Um, and then they did Kiwami, which means extreme, and was a remake of the first game. Uh, and then they did Six, and then they did Kiwami 2. That's about to come out. Is that a remake of the second game? That's a remake of the second game. So the two PS2 games, which are the clunkiest by far, like it's not true open world, there's loading between different sections of the city and stuff. Those, those got remade on the new Oh, wow. Uh, Three through five are getting HD re-releases. Uh, the most recently announced one for the States, it's already out in Japan, is they did a crossover game between this game and the Fist of the North Star anime series. What? With voice acting cast from this. This style of game 
set in that world with those mechanics. mechanics. I mean, I guess j- mashing the square button yeah. as fast as possible oh, yes. feels appropriate. Uh, for it's, for it's, it's great. <laughs> I've played that one too. It's fantastic. And the name sounds really fun in Japanese. It's Hokotu ga Gokotu. Okay. Which means... Uh, so, Hokotu no Ken is Fist of the North Star, but Hokotu actually means Big Dipper, but Big Dipper doesn't sound awesome, so we translate <laughs> yeah. it as North Star. Um, so, it's it's like a Big Dipper, but it's like a North Star, because North Star sounds yeah. cooler than Big Dipper. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if it was called Fist of the Big Dipper, that would not be nearly as cool. The, yeah. Uh, and then, there's at least one more coming out. Which stars a So I like that um, the PlayStation puts uh, elapsed time up there on the screen so that we can see how much time exactly we spend in this cutscene. Exactly how long it's going to go by before we get back. Uh, yeah, because Kiryu's in a coma right now. There's actually a scene that's coming up that I really appreciate because this is the sixth game where uh, all the previously extant NPCs who are really going to matter to the plot, you're going to have a chance to just walk up to them and be like, who is this guy? <laughs> and we'll catch you up on that, and then you can be like, cool, carrying on. Because they're all visiting me in the hospital? Yes. These are your best friends. <laughs> I can I can tell. They Ma- look like cool guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Goro Majima and uh, Saijima. I don't remember What's up, copper? Slow your roll. You're going to spook the patients. There we are, patriarch of the... Because he said copper, I assume he's got like a 1930s uh, gangster uh-huh. accent. Uh, Saijima broke out of prison again. He looks like he did just break out of prison. Uh, uh, you are off camera now, Ian. Oh. Scoot. There you go. So he's, he broke out because he had stuff to deal with, but he's like, yeah, I'll just go back to prison now. It's not a big deal. <laughs> A coconut kid saying that he wants to have more mafia style games out there. That, that uh, Mafia 2 was his jam. Yakuza 2 even gets into like buying property and upgrading it and, and conflicting with other property owners. Like the, the Godfather games? Yeah, yeah. too, yeah. yeah. So in open world games, I actually often have to be more motivated by checklists and like lists of like just piles of icons in the map I need to resolve, more so than the story a lot of the time. Uh, these games you get both. They don't do a ton of icons on the map, but they give you some checklists for sure. Um, so the relevant thing here is that in Yakuza 5, Kiryu shut down a gang war. Uh, Asian baby Batista. That's fair. In four, uh, he's got really long hair, but yeah, he shaves his head for five. And he does kind of look like Asian Dave Batista. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know quite what weirds me out about Kaz's face. They just, like, is something just a little bit off? I mean, obviously, they're all video game faces, but there's just something, like, I don't know what it is. Whenever I see his face on covers and stuff, too, I'm just like, I get more Uncanny Valley from him than from everybody else. In the- so one of the weird things about this series is that a lot of the characters in it at this point are really beautifully uh, scanned photogrammetry faces. Whereas, like, but he, he has to be the same character. They made up. Gotcha. Yeah, no, that, and he has to be consistent. From what they, they can't do the thing they do with Max Payne too, where they scan a different actor with the same Max Payne. And, and I'm just like, who's this guy? And also, they didn't put a Hawaiian oh, shirt that's on. That's Makoto Date. That's who that guy is. Good to know. Yeah. He's a cop who's your friend. That's Akiyama. Uh, uh, why is she farting X buttons? Let's, uh, is that so I can skip things? You can speed things along. Not that I need to, of course, because we're all enjoying sitting and watching this long cutscene. Uh, they're just, you know, they're, they're establishing. Oh yeah, it's Kiryu going to jail. No, I'm just going to I'm sure when I play The Last of Us 2, it's going to have a lot of cutscenes in the beginning, and I will eat it all up because I'm super into that story. So I'm, I mean, especially considering they have a. A long standing fan base, people who are into this and want this. I'm sure that for somebody who is not 
walking right into the series so brand new. And he was also not distracted by having a conversation with his friend. I bet this is fascinating. Well, and they do, like, it's fun to watch. Look at, they do really solid facial acting for how small their budget is compared to a lot of these games. Yeah. They do a lot of nice, subtle stuff, that little, like, glance to the sides and nods and things. Yeah, like, something that I think is well worth giving them credit on is that, uh, they're actually pretty well Directed. Like they're even doing nice framing where they're keeping Akiyama on the left when it's his close up and Date on the right when it's his close up. It's like not just following the 180 degree rule, but actually giving them sides of the screen, which makes them feel like they're sharing space together. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so like and see her speaking by herself or framed off by herself like legitimately good she's interjecting and changing the tone of the conversation and a lot of these like very kind of base level how you film a scene techniques were developed in japan by japanese directors true like people people uh, on our side of the ocean like learned a lot of this stuff by watching folks like kurosawa and things. so this feels i don't know it feels appropriate that, they, that, 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 that you yeah, should be getting proper cutscenes. So, okay, so here, that's here that would be a fun background to do. Some of the other games the director of this game worked on. Uh, Binary Domain, which was a 360 and PC game. Over, I, I played that. Over-the-shoulder shooter, cover-based thing. It's solid. Yeah. Um, I think I played the beginning of that. I think I rented it, played the beginning. Like, oh, that's what this is, and I moved on. Right. Uh, is this a did, dream? Cool, cool. Uh, what is this? What is this? You're, this is the scene I was talking about. Where Am I a ghost? To talk to people. Nice to meet you, coconut kid. This is. These are your NPCs who matter. You okay. can walk up to each of them, including the group of orphans, and just get a quick. <laughs> this is who this person is. Uh, he's out there. Still be alive. Nice to meet you. Uh, or we're all dead together. You know. That's... You're just at a coma. And this is the game's way of being like. Hey, there's a lot of previous games in this series. <laughs> oh, a lots of layers to that. Yeah, she's been in all of them since young. Uh, it never gets any older, right? No, how old was she? No, these games are real time. Oh, really? So she, um, this game... So if it came out in 2005, that means that she's now 13 years old in 2009? Yes. Yeah. Oh, seriously? Seriously. Yeah, this I'm game's, joking, this but... game's from 2016, so she's only 11 years older. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Uh, but she was 9 in that game, and she's 20 in this game. Okay, well, there's that then. Uh, Kat Kiryu ages in real time. Zero is an exception. Zero is a flashback. Well, game. yeah. But that, that's interesting. I, but everything else it wouldn't have occurred, in real time. It wouldn't have occurred to me that they would have done it. I mean, I, I can imagine time passing. The idea that, that you would like say, oh, well, this the amount of time until this game comes out, that's when it takes yeah, place Yeah, the in fact that this game is four years is because after Yakuza 5, they took a few years off to make, like, other hot games. So you're listing Binary Domain. Binary Domain, um, he worked on F-Zero GX and AX, that F-Zero uh, game that Sega did. Uh, he worked on Daytona, he was lead designer on Daytona. Okay. Super Monkey Ball. What? Yeah. Like the original Super Monkey Ball? Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2. Wow, okay. Uh, a very diverse background. That's cool. So, okay, I want to know what the pile of orphans is about, then we're going to move on. These are, these are your orphans. <laughs> Uncle Kaz! Uh, Kiryu himself is an orphan. Uh, raised in an orphanage by a Yakuza who owns the orphanage. So they call, they call and that's him, why he joined the Yakuza. They call him by a shortening of his surname. Yes. Is that a common thing? Do you know? Uh, it can't. I mean, it's really common in Japan to refer to people by just by their last name generally. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, there he is. As an orphan myself, I decided to start an orphanage in Yakuza Three. He, he started an orphanage. So these are like he was he was trying to get out of the crime stuff. He moved all the way to Okinawa, which if your geography of Japan is not that good, Mind look at a map real quick. Okinawa is really far away from the rest of Japan. <laughs> uh, Everything I know about Okinawa comes from the Karate Kid movies. And, so there's uh, not a lot. <laughs> sure, they didn't teach a lot about it in Karate Kid. It's really just Karate Kid 2 is my opinion. 
right. Wake up from that coma. Fourth chairman? You, uh, were at one point in charge of the Tojo clan. Of course I was. Uh, oh, he's a sixth chairman. A blade of meat shield? Yes. I'm two chairmans better than him. Uh, surname does come first in Japanese. <laughs> Referring to yourself by your title and to each other by titles is like an honorific thing in Japan. <laughs> which is like, it's literally a language where you can conjugate for so slightly, so don't. There's a lot of names. Uh, and yeah, that's why I refer to him as Kazuma Kiryu, but he's saying Kiryu-san here. Yeah, his Kiryu's his given name. Kiryu's his given name. We're about 27 minutes in. <laughs> um, some of that was on the title screen. Oh, man, working out microphone. Yeah, crutch mode. I hope I get to play in crutch mode. Uh, if there is a crutch on the ground in the game, I guarantee you can pick it up. <laughs> it. <laughs> I'm just hoping that I want there to be a walking in crutches mode that's like a Bennett Foddy game. And, <laughs> and just have that be part of Yakuza. Uh, this is like the curious thing ever that he's talking about right here. Like, uh, Daigo is saying, you could skip this, this time in jail. Like, you could get a decent lawyer and get out of this charge. And Kiryu is just like, you know, I'm going to go to jail for three years. So that it wipes the slate clean. <laughs> That's just how badass they are. That's how badass he is. I mean, the purpose of Yakuza 1 is that he takes a murder charge for someone else because he's just a very good person. <laughs> and he only goes to jail for 10 years because he stands to he said he goes to jail for 10, ten years for a murder. They have very different sentencing laws, and he's a very good uh, prisoner, so I don't know. Eh, that's cool. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's got his little uh, 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 little all that butt mashing, I only got one skip. The Tojo clan in Civil War. The f oh, goodbye. The yellow load times are pretty fast. Six months later. Six months later. I'm 20 and a half now. You're gonna have a shaved head, which is always weird. In the prison scenes, he's got a shaved head. Okay. But I can recognize him by his weird face. Sorry, I shouldn't give him crap, <laughs> because, I mean, somebody put a lot of effort into this, and it's fine. <laughs> Just, I don't know. It's, I'm, there's a feature I'm excited to uh, Yeah, Blade of Meat Shield, I appreciate the pedantry, you're right, it's not shaved, it's bust. It, it probably was shaved at one point, and then grew out. See, it would have cost a fortune to get everyone there. Because Okinawa is really, really far from the rest of Japan. <laughs> it's like he moved to Hawaii. Uh, that's the game where the Yakuza are trying to sell the land the orphanages on to build a resort and kind of stuff, blah, blah, blah. The CIA is there. Of course. The CIA is everywhere. everywhere. Fortunately, it's my first offense, except for that murder. <laughs> Which, again, he didn't commit. Yeah. He's never killed anyone. Really, you only just beat people within the lives? You beat people, I mean, you do move in this game. You throw people on the ground and stomp on their head. <laughs> uh, there's a team-up move in Kiwami 2, where somebody else grabs someone and, like, slams them down into the ground and their like head is on the ground and then Kiryu comes over and stomps on their head and it's like that guy's definitely dead but afterward he's like oh, I'm so sorry I never should have started <laughs> uh, Cloudcraft wants to know when we get into the karaoke it's coming nice I'm into it is it use the mic do I get to sing you don't get to sing it's oh, okay. uh, uh, Kizzy, I love the Yakuza games. 
Yeah, so far all I've seen is cutscenes and a little bit of wandering around, but uh, I'm taking it on faith that Ian is correct that these games are cool. Um, Ablative, I am with you. It's totally that kind of plot, but then it goes much darker, and there's just there's a lot more um, deaths <laughs> and beatings. Furia wouldn't get into a ski contest so much as he would get into a beat up 500 people in a row contest <laughs> while singing. Yeah. Um, but yes, I, I, and I had warned Jeffrey beforehand, like, these games do a lot of play setting. They do a lot of, like, let's set the tone, let's build the stakes, who are these characters, what is this world? <laughs> See, I'm used to just dictating everything I read in the chat. Because usually the chat isn't visible on the screen. Oh right. I guess I can like, cause yeah, usually I don't find a way to embed it on the screen while while I'm streaming. So I keep thinking, oh, whenever something comes up, I have to read it aloud so that the audience knows what was said. Right. I was not able to watch Jeffrey's stream earlier today. All right, we're in Okinawa. Oh, Kiryu is still in jail. <laughs> this, this sequence here. All cutscenes about how life is hard for Haruka <laughs> with the other orphans. Wow. So no one is taking care of these orphans, by the way. I think that's really important to call out. Like, Kiryu is paid for the land, and no one is taking care of them. Haruka's there, she's like 16 in this one. I thought she said she was 20. So we're still, we're still before Kiryu gets out of jail. She's maybe 17 now. Oh, okay, wow. Here he was not gotten out of jail yet. Yeah, a blade of Misha was, it was disappointed um, on my last stream when I streamed Desolate because I got killed before I had a chance to actually use the joint that I had crafted. So, oh, that's, that's a shame. Yeah, I had, ju I had just rolled a joint in the game. And I was like, oh yeah, a blade of, let me just, I'll, 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 I'll try to use the joint in just a minute. But let me go fight this madman first. Turns out this madman had way more hit points than the other madman I had fought. Uh, and that went badly for me. This is just like life in the orphanage. Is it, I promise, is it, is it, is it a hard knock life? It's pretty good, like, it's pretty idyllic. These kids sort of look out for each other, and Kiryu's gotten them into safety. <laughs> Cloud <Crafts. laughs> Yes, he is. Uh, I think... The last time I... I'm trying to remember when I played Dark Souls. I think it was... I think... I think Fogey came in. It was like a year, a year and a half ago. Fogey came in and was giving me a tour of Dark Souls, and I had no idea what I was doing. The, like I said, the only the only Souls-like game I've ever gotten into really well was uh, was Hollow Knight. And that takes a lot of effort for me to even be able to get you know, something that's that accessible. Uh, he had mentioned that one of the things they take they care about in the scholarship is your living situation, and so one of the kids was like, "Oh." It, Probably not good that you live here then. And then everybody got real quiet and what a shitty thing to say. <laughs> Apparently Dark Souls 3 is not what you played at the beginning. Yeah. And Z here's Haruka being bummed out, being called after the girl. People uh, posting pictures of her on the internet. Wow. It's scary how hard this is. Just walks what? back into Okinawa. <laughs> Is Morning Glory the name of this place? It's the name of the orphanage, yes. Yeah. So she's free now. This is why... This is, again, this is all getting us from the end of Yakuza 5 to the beginning of Yakuza 6. Yeah, so Cloudcraft, I think that the Souls games, I think I played the original, some of the original Demon Souls. Or maybe it was Dark Souls 1? I don't know, I didn't get very far in that. And then I played Dark Souls 3. Didn't get into that. Played Salt and Sanctuary. Didn't get into that. Played like I played like a lot of games that are that style. And and the first one that ever grabbed me was Hollow Knight. So I don't know what's exactly is special about Hollow Knight that made it work, but Hollow oh, Knight's two D, right? It's two D. Yeah, but so was Salt and Sanctuary, and I couldn't sure. get into that. But it definitely it plays a lot like a lot of the other just very 
slick, responsive 2D games that I really like. Like it, sure. it reminded me of a lot of other games that, that I played before. Um, it felt familiar, and it also like I just finished doing the Mantis Lords battle twice because I turned the console off without no. without getting to a bench, um, and it was one of my favorite boss battles I've ever played because wow. because it was just so. Um, it was really there were no cheap shots. It's like, like everything was like was very geometrically precise. Like this attack comes from above, you have to move to the side. This one comes to the side, you have to move this way. When they're this high, they're gonna do this attack, and when they're that high, they're gonna do that attack. And I felt like I really completely learned it. And and it's hard to, to make a game that really feels that where I can feel like I mastered it right. so well. Even when I was failing, I felt like I knew what to do. And right. I was, you know you get I I am a big fan of the experience of feeling like, okay, I can do it better. Yes, and I definitely got that, like, by the, making progress. by the time I finally was able to beat the second phase twice, I was perfecting the first phase. Like, I was almost playing the first phase. Really well. And so that, that felt, that felt really good. I actually did, of course, not on the stream, I actually did get a couple of perfect first phases on my way to getting the second phase right. for the second time. I want to be closer to Uncle Kaz. Until then? Uncle Kaz will come back to Uncle Kaz. It's been a long time ago, right? So, Clarkoff says that uh, Dark Souls 3 is the hardest of the Souls games, but the Demon Souls is more unforgiving of mistakes. So that means, like, you make mistakes in the Dark Souls games, but the Demon Souls is more unforgiving of mistakes. So that means, like, you make more mistakes in Dark Souls 3, but the mistakes you make are worse in Demon Souls. That's, it's, it's, that's an interesting distinction, you know, how many mistakes you expect to make versus how bad it is when you make one. How bad it is, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, so Cloudcraft, I gotta, I gotta catch up. Cloudcraft has been doing a couple of streams about Dark Souls and kind of explaining the game. And I feel like, because I haven't been able to get into those games, I feel like it's a knowledge gap that I've got. And so I appreciate other people explaining them to me. Uh, or, or, or finding me the weird edge case ones like Hollow Knight where I can get into it. That feels like a degenerate gameplay system a lot of the time. <laughs> so they get harder the more you die? What? Nice. <laughs> yeah, that does sound kind of kind of ridiculous. All right, are we getting started? Three years later. Oh. Nope, nope, sorry. All right, all right. <laughs> this boat better crash, and she better have to like jump out of like Lara Croft or something. Um, that is the voice actor for QDU. Okay, we've got credits, you guys. <laughs> 39 minutes in, we've got credits. Some of that was title screen. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thir 32 think, minutes in. Rie is uh, Arka's voice actor for the Japanese. Okay. Seiyu is the word for voice actor. Seiyu. <laughs> Cloudcraft's like, yay, we beat the game! <laughs> and, oh, everybody's being sad that she left. There's the dog from Yakuza 1. <laughs> Kiryu's in prison and he's sad, but nobody fucks with him because he's gonna destroy the house with his bare hands. For a second, I thought that dog was like a three legged dog. Just because the way it was moving was a little disconcerting. And, and it made me think it would be interesting if they had a dog that lost a leg every game. And so you can tell which oh, game you're on by the number of legs the oh. dog has. Here we go. Oh, look at this. Amorocho. So one of the cool things in the Yakuza series, the thing that they turn into an asset, is that every game is set in the same neighborhood in Tokyo. And it just, it progresses? And it just over progresses over time. So you go back there. Oh, so even the flashback you went to the 80s is the same neighborhood the same before, neighborhood before everything. everything. Exactly. So can you really get to know like the street layout? You get to know the street layout, you know where stuff is. It's not a huge neighborhood. It's not this big open... Uh, you know, blocks and blocks. They're and not blocks. trying to compete with Just Cause for the scale of the map. No, not not by any stretch at all. Um, there's Akiyama hanging out with homeless people because Akiyama's a man of the people. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you get this thing where you're walking on the street and you're like, oh yeah, there'll be a convenience store right over here, and oh, I got some. Uh, some loot that I can sell, I can head down to the pawn shop. Wait, there's a neighborhood called Little Asia? It's a neighborhood called Little Asia inside it, which is Asian neighborhood. So it's like immigrants from China, Vietnam, and yeah, Laos, and Korea, so. 
じゃあ放火ってことは消防はもう向かってんだろうな避難の誘導は待ってますでも火の周りが早くてあの炎の大きさが私の誠意だと受け取りいただきたい。This game has the best drinks. So, what I mean is that it's fictional people <laughs> and they all evacuated and they're going to rebuild. And again, that's one of the striking things. You start this game and you're running around, and most of the neighborhood looks the same. And you get to this block where Little Asia was, and it's completely new.、Uh, so, so, actually, so this, this plot point probably exists so they could vary their map up. <laughs> well, they do, like, they do little things over the years too, like、um, restaurants close, new things open. It's, it, it really is a, a, a bizarre experience where you get to come home and visit these things again. So, that title, which shows up in Japanese and then shows up in English, in the Japanese version of the game, does it also do that? No, it just shows up in Japanese. Interesting. They, they did some neat stuff to localize this to try and save places where the Japanese is very stylized. Yeah. Where they do some cool effects with the kanji. Like, let you see that? To let you see that and then be like, but also you want to be able to read it, right? Yeah. I guess for some reason you didn't tell anyone you were coming. <laughs> no, she's not. Why? You're going to have control pretty soon. Really? But, but I will say, you're not really in the cage. <laughs> this is still pro prologue. I feel like this is some kind of stunt. Like, this is like, like I'm being punked right now. Like, you、this、invited is, me over to play Yakuza. This is a legitimately、Zips. good game, I swear to God. <laughs> but as I warned you before you played it, it was almost an hour before you really started the game. So, I, I really like the way that the,、um, the chat display on the, PS4, the PS4's like, Twitch broadcast setup just does not try to break words on the spaces. It just, it just breaks the text wherever it breaks it. So, instead of saying the word something, a b l a d e says so mething. Which is just. I kind of want that to be a phrase that people say. Cloudcraft, they don't say it specifically in this game, but in Yakuza 1, that is an explicit plot point. He gets, he gets out early because he has one fight when he first gets there where he destroys everyone. And then、uh, nobody ever messes with him ever again. <laughs> oh. What has she done? She's saying sorry. She knew Haruka left and she knew why. And she didn't tell anyone what happened.、Uh, I never told、uh, anyone else what happened. I don't know why I'm synopsizing the text that she's reading. Oh, I'm not paying attention to it half the time. Everyone who watches my stream knows that I'm illiterate, so、um, I can't read things. Because that's what illiterate means. Oh, but there's so much gameplay. There's so much gameplay. There is an RTS in this game. What? That's totally real. <laughs> the bad guys in the RTS in this game are all professional wrestlers from the New Japan Wrestling Federation. That is also real. There is also not only a baseball game, but a baseball team management set in which you have to manage and upgrade the skills and stats of all of your players, scout and recruit new players, all this shit is in this game. <laughs> What? So、it's totally optional. Is, is, is it, so is, is it just like a weird s i g n i n g game? Is it kind of like the golf stuff in Grand Theft Auto, only more interesting? More interesting, yeah. 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 Bowling. 
<laughs> Cloudcraft, yes. there's, you know Cloudcraft, there's no way I'm doing all of this. There's no way. You're going to have to find other I'm not sure how far in the RTS happens. It's like, the, the real estate game in Yakuza 0 happens. Ten hours into the game, you unlock this huge, significant real estate game, and then you play a couple chapters and you switch back to the other protagonist, and he unlocks like a time management game about running a nightclub. <laughs> so, so it's Yakuza. It's always, it's like it's like Grand Theft Auto, but also Monopoly, but also like. Like Dance Dance Revolution sometimes. Yeah. And also, and also like Diner Dash is in there. <laughs> Diner Dash. And Warcraft. And yeah. Darts. <laughs> of course, darts. She's conveniently for the three years held on to the magazine that she showed Haruka the night that she left. Well, I was in there too. Yeah. The, um... Okay, so, not having read most of the subtitles, and barely paying attention, did Haruka leave because she was this successful idol now, and so she was bringing a bunch of negative attention, like people were trashing the family? She had become a successful idol, yeah, and then admitted that her family was linked to this crime family and all this terrible drama, and went home to try and live this quiet life at the orphanage. And then and she brought, brought her drama with her to the orphanage? Brought her drama with her. Okay, yeah, exactly. so she left again. Hey, look, what? I have camera control. You've got all sorts of texts oh. and tips. Oh, man. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. First thing I gotta do. Can I change my camera settings? Do the game settings? Camera control vertical, inverted, yes. Oh, yeah. he thinks Kiri is an airplane. Okay, hold on. I want to show you something real quick. No, I think Kiryu has a neck with a head on it. That's what I think. All right. Okay. You watch, think Kiryu's watch, a robot? Watch his feet. Watch his feet. We're yeah. in the house. Shoes off. Whoa! What? What? I, Sorry, the camera's crazy. Shoes off. Shoes in the house. Shoes on. What? <laughs> and also. Shoes off in the house. Shoes on. Okay, there you and, go. And also, what shoes? I mean, look at these shoes. He's got snakeskin boots. These these shoes are amazing. Yeah, he does have amazing he has, shoes. I mean, either he has amazingly large feet, or he is faking something. Like it's like he's got you know, like one of those you know, he's compensating. That basically really is, hard. They're that big so that you can have big dramatic kicks in the people's faces. <laughs> and uh, oh, is this the darts game right here? This is not. This is for the baseball kid. Who you can tell baseball is his thing because he's always dressed in baseball gear. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Con Taylor stars here. He loves I, this game. I adore the Yakuza series, and I could not imagine anyone more confused by it than Jeffrey. <laughs> 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 uh, oh, crap. What was Cloudcraft reacting to when he said, I was hoping he'd forget? Uh, oh, you're you fixing your up down. Oh yeah. Camera. <laughs> oh no, I can't forget. It makes me feel dizzy. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I can do. I can just play the shoe game all day. Shoes on. Shoes off. <laughs> it's just love it. I you know there had to be discussion at some point about whether to do an animation of him taking his shoes off. I'm sure there was. And, 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 I think they I think they picked the right thing. Oh yeah, I think they did too. Simplified. The right people won. But uh, cons. I think a lot of people. Zero was their first game. Uh, this is an invisible wall game. It's ah. just the way that the game world works. It's it's that kind of Japanese game design where they're like, no, you can't go over there. Uh, yeah, Yakuza Zero is really good. Okay, so so am I here just to talk to all these people? Yeah, you're just doing the RPG thing. Just talk to anybody with a bubble. <laughs> Uh, I thought I was going to talk to the dog. Haruka no koto nara shinpai suru na. So da to ii ke do. Alright. Any blue dot means Haruka no koto nara shinpai suru na. So is this going to be. So the last game that I played. Uh, on the stream. Like, there would be a tutorial thing. <laughs> 
And until I did the tutorial, there would be a door that was just closed. And after I did it, then it would mysteriously open. Uh, there's not too much of that. There, you will be in fights where it's like, show me that you understand this mechanic. If you touch the pad, click in the big pad in the middle, that'll do the big camera. Uh, which for this little bit of Okinawa is not very dramatic. Yes. Okay, so Talk I've her done all those things. Inside the house? Okay. Well, should I take my shoes off? You sh absolutely should take your shoes off. Boom. Shoes off. <laughs> and yeah, now that you're at oh, the Oh, more blue dots. Can I see more blue dots. Can I see them on here? Nope. You cannot, which is a shame. I am, I am ashamed. Uh, I'm just going to dry hump all the walls until I... There we are. It's cool they can talk to her across the table. Hey, she's just she's not moving her lips. Freaking uh, uh, after our scenes, you slide the door. Oh, I'll go give somebody a call now. Akiyama. Akiyama is the guy who is drinking with the bums. Oh, right, but the bum drinker. Well, he's been a bum himself, his life was ruined. Yeah, so Taylor's pointing out that, yeah, the, the, I agree, like, it's, it's, if you're going to do a bunch of weird stuff with the game, it's hard to also maintain the serious tone of a story. They, oh God, they such a good job somehow. I, and I really don't understand how. Like, GTA V, one of the things they did was give you a character for whom it was on tone to do all the stupid stuff that you do in Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. And I feel like that was a tool they were using to try to bridge the gap between the insanity of normal Grand Theft Auto gameplay and the seriousness of Grand Theft Auto storytelling. Yeah. So this game does a lot of interesting stuff. I think there's somebody in that room there who you need to talk to before this, this all wraps up. Before uh, we're freed from this purgatory. This beautiful tropical purgatory. Yeah. Um, um, you don't have the, the ability in this one to do the kind of chaos stuff that you do in Grand Theft Auto, yeah. unless you've got a reason to somebody attack you, and then you can fight back and just smash all those withers or bodies that you want. Um, or someone was harassing someone in the street and then you can beat them within two or three uh, Within an inch of their life. Yeah, there's nothing like uh, completely out outsized punishments. Cloudcraft was saying he knows an anime that does that. I have heard other people say... That does what? Uh, mixes the serious and the wacky tone oh, gotcha. really well. So, second door on the right. They're both hanging out in here. Straight on till morning. Talk to people ten times! I got prizes! Already, already cleared an award. <laughs> and got some XP for it. そう。もしかしたら、漫画あの、ドキドキ、ルチクラブ、ですね。漫画のシェルフ。俺が気づいていれば。Oh <笑> さっきネットでいろいろ調べてたんだけど、はるかお姉ちゃんに関する情報は何も見つからないんだよね。SNSとか全然やってないみたい。そうか。はるかについては、もしかしたら何か、はるかに関する情報が… It's interesting hearing people from another culture talk about social media because of how obsessively Americans in the media talk about social media. It's true. It's like, it just feels, it's almost like it's, I don't know, it just, it feels like, a stupid thing we do. <laughs> right. And it feels very like, specific oh, no. to our situation. But... It exists in other countries yeah. too. Yeah. I mean, I know that other countries have social media, but just hearing other people talk so, about it makes them sound more American to me because I'm so used to that being what the American media is just buzzing about all the time. Right. This could be a weird, a weird, uncanny valley-ish thing, which is dumb. I mean, obviously, yeah. I mean, there's reason. Other people will be talking about this stuff for the same reason we're talking about it because we're all just in love with whatever new thing is chasing our lives. Mm -hmm. 
<笑>あまり長い。<笑><笑> Man, what does he put in his hair? It is, I think it's just being awesome. <laughs> he just puts he puts heat in his hair. Hold the X button to sprint. There you go. So this is this shot coming down that part is basically telling you which street this is in Colorado Show. Uh, this shot is in like every one of the games. Oh really? This is just how you go to Camarocho? Yeah. This is the, the street that you enter on. So Kamurocho is a neighborhood, a district, or whatever? It's like a district in Tokyo. Is it a uh, real one? Kabukicho is the real one. Okay. The Kamurocho is based on it. Gotcha. Yeah, that's a good place. Mata kono machi ni kaette kishimatta ka. So, uh, you can hit the middle button there if you want. The phone's making noises. Oh, your phone is ringing. Yeah. So, okay, I want to do... Oh. There's lots of icons, because there's lots of stuff. Man. In the city. It's a big city. Can I, okay, uh, I zoom in? Okay, so I'm trying to go here. Yep. It's telling me to go And there. I'm here. So, yeah, so they're not trying to be ambitiously huge. No, they're not. Can you not. go into a lot of these buildings and things? Anywhere you see an icon, that's probably a building you can walk into. Uh, so like the, maybe the blue buildings are the ones you can go inside? The blue buildings are the ones you can go inside. Yep. Well, that's... And right now, all those X's are... They block a lot of places off, so hold on. Oh. Uh, hit... I think it's up on the D-pad. Okay, I'm going to triangle to flip the camera around. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Now, you, now, you've got the ability to change the expression with the D-pad. Look at the variety available to you. <laughs> is, he, is he trying to smile? As smiling as he can. <laughs> okay, that's amazing. Uh, there are a bunch of other fun little Easter eggs with this mode where like, pedestrians walking by might ignore your camera. But they also might like photo their face and oh. walk away, or they might photo bomb and like do a peace sign behind <laughs> you. And it's very randomized. You can't like make it happen. Saving. This is on your hard drive now. Yeah, I appreciate it. You know, I want, I, want, I want to take I want to take a selfie with the cops. What was it? Was it up on the so D-pad? It's up on the D-pad. The triangle to flip the camera. Hey guys. Um. Oh. I, don't really have a great angle on you guys. Hold on a second. Let's, uh, can I just, can I just walk like right here with you guys? Can I just, um, I'm trying to get the right, uh, maybe, may, maybe like this? There we go. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, cops. How you doing? You got filters, of course. Oh, what, oh, what filters do I have? Where? Where? There we go. That's the hip strangle. <laughs> yeah. We got some good pictures now. Okay, now what am I doing? Uh, so, Pink Arrow, if you're ever wondering what to do next. Pink Arrow. Here we go. Oh, Pink Arrow. Nope. Is the other direction. The mini map doesn't rotate with me. Uh, I don't want mine to, but if you want it to, you can change it in those settings. Okay. There's always oh. trouble. <laughs> Oh, do we get to beat someone down? No. Oh no, it's this guy. It's Dante, your old friend. Yeah, what are you doing? I always come to this place. I was just waiting for you to come. Dante, you guys know each other because he was the investigator on the murder you admitted to back in Yakuza 1. I can't was like, yeah, that guy definitely didn't do it. This makes no sense. So, I can't tell if how stuck still everyone stands when they're talking is, you know, let's not have to make a bunch of crazy animations, or if it actually 
I mean, that's probably part of it, no matter what. Right. But if it, or if it's just a character choice, like that's these people are all extremely stoic, and they all stand stock still when they're speaking. These, yeah, the characters, because if you watch the cops, they're doing a lot of, like, oh, yeah, yeah. little yeah. idle animation. Yeah. Like, yes. like, you're more respectable and, and like, you know, you're like, oh, well, that guy's intimidating because look how still he stands. Exactly. Uh, so I thought that was interesting. あ、じゃあ、サイオトライ。そう、そう、僕、中国人。いや、ケンタカブ。で、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そう、そ
So my guy is really awesome, and he can like conjure blue fire all over his body and beat people with into his life. Well, he's not going to move a barricade. He's Japanese. <laughs> like the the barricades in Japan are much more subtle because they don't feel like they need to push it. So it's something on the left here. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Oh, then you can take an elevator up to the second floor. Uh, there are demos out for several of the Yakuza games. Mama? Mama's what you call a lady who runs a car. Oh, okay. That's cool. <laughs> I, I thought that was my mom for a second. Hanging out in this bar is another serious staple. Like, hanging out? I'm just having scenes in the chat. Oh, ロボメイクロジェ。ロボメイクロジェ。ロボメイクロジェ。ロボメイクロジェ。ロボメイクロジェ。ロボメイクロジェ。ロボメイクロジェ。ロボメイクロジェ。ロボメイクロジェ。
Um, and you can use that XP to level up various Oh, so stats. it'll cut two red XP and ten gold XP yes. to boost my health. Yes. And, oh, that is so weird. That is, like, the opposite of how I'm used to it working. Like, normally I'm used to getting, like, one... Like, getting one thing that I can spend in a lot of different ways, then I'm getting a lot of different things that I can spend in a small number of ways. Yes. Well, and you can also, if you hit R1 and cycle through... Ah! See, like, you also use ah! those styles of XP ah! to unlock skills and all sorts of other stuff. There's so, so many much. things. So much. These games are... It's huge. hard to get the green ones. I could, I could never fucking get enough of the green... The, the reading the reading skills the reading skills like knowledge I don't I don't have any reading skills it, that was the one that I could never get enough so of take a uh, take a right I'm illegally parked I gotta go I'll see you enjoy your video games <laughs> you are the yeah. best okay. uh, take a right and that red thing there is a club Sega that red thing that red, oh. that red building on the corner is a club, club Sega. Sega and I want to note I just knew where that was because I know where that is. Just push into the doors and you'll walk inside. You mean you know that it, from, where that is from playing the game? Like previous games? Previous games. I haven't played this one. So you got Poyo Poyo here. I think you've got uh, Virtua Fighter right over here. <laughs> uh, sure. Yeah, let's do this. I assume I can get out of it anytime I want to. Oh my gosh! We're just starting Virtua Fighter? Yeah, we're just gonna play Virtua Fighter. I'm not good at virtual fighter. I'm not good at fighting games. Yeah. All right. Oh, wait till I push up the button. No. Uh, it's loading. Yep. Spent some. Spent some money. Cost three hundred yen. I think it's Oh my gosh! I don't have a favorite character. Oh right. I push the circle button to select things because this is Japan. Japan. Yeah. Brad Burns. Brad Burns. I hope he says it's the Brad Show. Colin wrote that line. Really? <laughs> Colin wrote all of the uh, English dialogue for this game. <laughs> the, yeah, they did. I noticed they didn't bother to use subtitles for the embedded weird games. I look like I'm just trying to scare him. Like I don't look like I'm actually trying to hit him. I'm just like, boo! Yeah, uh, this is like, you know, an early level, I imagine. Yeah, you're, you're playing on uh, machines are set to different Ready, Oh! Oh, nice. So did they recreate Virtua Fighter, or are they just running Virtua Fighter? They're just running Virtua Fighter. <laughs> this is just the arcade version of Virtua Fighter. Oh my gosh. All right, so oh wait, touch pad button end game. Well, wait, wait, wait! Don't do it yet. Oh, 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 oh! No. Let's make sure we go through our new win to see if you unlock any like XP or something. What? That's a thing. Oh yeah, playing mini games totally earns your XP. Looks like I would have to keep fighting guys. Yeah. Okay. So go ahead and hit the button then. Let's get out of here. Still. No wait. What? You probably had to hit. Okay, it cannot. It cannot decide if the circle button yeah, is selected. You or got not. five of each type of XP and <laughs> ten of the green one that Colin Whoa. was saying was so hard to get. It's probably Colin can't get it because he's so sick of Virtua Fighter Five. Doesn't want to keep playing. I know. <laughs> yeah. So, so it looks like the normal UI. They, they they probably swapped it to the American standard of X button to select things, a circle button to to get out of things. But, but when I was in Virtua Fighter. Circle. Through the circle, yeah. Alright, so we don't have to hang out here. Yeah, no, but that's interesting. Uh, uh, I'm gonna go steal this car. No, you aren't. Nope, that's not what I do. Oh, is that Cafe Alps right there? Can Cafe you, what? Turn behind yourself. I think Cafe Alps should be right there. Yeah, there it is. That's what it's called? Pursuit. Cafe Alps? Out of this seat. Did I see the. Did it since 1971? Does that mean it's, that it was here in the prequel? Lucini's there. And Cafe Alps, you can eat at in other games. You can't in this one. Alright, so... Wait. Oh, Con Taylor's saying he likes that he can play darts in this one too. I haven't played the darts in this one yet. Out of my way, old man! Heading over to Pink Street. Yeah, I got some... I got some pink arrows to chase. Oh, there's 
red triangles are dudes who noticed you. Uh oh. Uh oh, I want to pick. Oh, bike. get a bike! Get a bike! Get a bike! Get a what? Really? Pick up a bike with circle. It's the best. What? Am I freaking? What? <laughs> pick up a bike. Get another one. There's more bikes around. Here. So I guess I, I'm supposed to like. I'm supposed to lock on to guys in order to just keep facing them? Is that... Yeah, I keep, I keep yeah. finding myself facing away from enemies that want to be fired. Yeah, use, use lock on to focus up on Oh, I'm on fire now! Triangle. <laughs> yeah, bikes are awesome. <laughs> Oh, defend yourself. Is it, what is it defend yourself right there? I thought it said defeat yourself. No. Oh, he dropped the thing. A uh, thing? Yeah, pick up the thing oh. he dropped. It's bunch a bunch of yen! So this is one of my favorite subtle things in the game. Playing that arcade game costs 300 yen. Uh, if you go to a convenience store, uh, there will be a small price difference between, like, salmon onigiri and tuna onigiri. Like, 10 yen. And then you'll fight a fight, and you'll get 20,000 yen. <laughs> a 10 yen price <laughs> distinction is not meaningful in terms of gameplay, <laughs> but it is meaningful it's in, in terms realism? of... No, that's how much it should cost. Those trucks are everywhere. Like... It is the most being in Japan video game. I'm, do I'm doing a lot of whipping, guys, a lot of whipping. Ding! What happened to that other guy? He was already knocked out. You kind of winged him. Uh, okay. So there's a restaurant if you just head up and out there and a little bit to the right. Looks uh, like the... The, uh, the green door or the... To the right. There, on the mini-map you can see the, the food and drink thing. Uh, and this is a sushi it. place. Okay, and I can't pick up bicycles when I'm not in the middle of the bike. No, why would you pick up someone's bike? Oh no, you want to go in that restaurant? Oh well, yeah, now when these guys run over there, now you can pick up that bike. Now you're being threatened. That's actually really cool. I mean, like your character, your character, not just you, but your character has standards about when he's gonna fight. Mike just take out those first few guys. Yeah, you just destroyed it. So there's a restaurant just to your right here. Alright. So is my health like low now? Like should I get a it's lowish, but that's why we're gonna go to the restaurant. Oh, okay. Hey buddy! But are you the, you need a hug? This guy needs a hug. This guy is fiberglass. Okay. Yep. Talk to that guy. He'll see you. This guy oh okay. Okay, so you gotta order? Yes. Oh man! Uh, you get you're getting descriptions of each dish, muscle up for tuna lovers, and it's the it's experience it will get XP me. They give you what? Okay, well, you know, obviously, the main my main goal is to show how easy it is to get green experience. So, uh, so you've got if you look at your on the left there, yeah. you've got a lot of room left in your stomach. You can eat more. <laughs> That's a. S <laughs> okay. Okay. Well. There we go. That's enough, right? Yeah, that seems like plenty. And then just hit the... The order button? Confirm your order? Yes. Uh, Taylor notes that you can muffle up your stomach so that you can fit more food in it. What? That is what I've done in real life. <laughs> this game is so much like real life. So I'm just... I'm just sitting here eating. Yep. And I just... Can I just chill? Oh yeah, you'll just sit there for a while. Will he eventually be finished? Uh, Even if, if I don't skip ahead? Zero, you will eventually be finished. I think in this one you might need to hit X. Oh, uh, now I'm eating this other one, which is giving me a lot of XP. 
And now I'm eating this other one that's giving me. So that's the cumulative XP that you earned from this meal. A bonus! Oh, there is a bonus. Tuna it's two delicious, but because I combined two tuna dishes? You combined two tuna dishes and got the two delicious bonus. Oh my gosh. <sighs> There, right. there is nothing else quite like the Yakuza series of video games. The result is tons of XP. Saikuka. Alright. Uh, you should pull up, you should level up a little bit. You've got a bunch of so XP. Where do I level up again? So pull up your uh, hit start. And then go to stats. stats. And like you can boost health. Look at I mean, you boost health a bunch of times. So did did eating heal me or e eating healed you? Uh, yeah, Taylor. The food is all like crazy precise, and the fact that takoyaki is really big and like Sotenbori, which is based on Dotenbori, the real neighborhood in Osaka, is just a delight to me. I love how specific. Let's go over to heat actions. While well, you still have some some stuff left. Uh, no. Oh. Can we, let's let's can we afford the top now? We can't anymore. That's okay. Oh, sorry. I guess I need to have another meal later. So I, so these stats are going up by tiny amounts, which is which can be kind of uh, unsatisfying. I know that that was an issue I had with uh, God of War. Was it like all of right. my stat boosts were tiny, so I was like. Do I really want this armor over that armor? Because I don't know if I'll notice which one I'm wearing. It's it, it matters across the long run, but it is definitely a gradual thing. But you've seen, like, you earned a lot of XP pretty fast. Yeah, that's true. Mostly just by buying sushi. Yes. And your fights and playing video games. Hey there, buddy. Master. ほんとにお久しぶりです。キリオさん。マスター。ありがとう。聞きたいこと。はるかはこの後。あ、そうですか。<笑><笑> Your Katsuka, the new guys from Little Asia. So that's, uh, that is your salient plot point. All right, go to Little Asia. Uh, I don't think you can cut through there. Oh uh, yeah, probably not. Um, south a little bit. We all the way over Little Asia. So it was right. Sato didn't tell you to avoid that neighborhood, but I feel like you're just gonna have to risk it. So this is crazy new compared to <laughs> Asia. And is it, is it is this meant to look like it's sort of a like it's got a lot of traditional touches to it, but it's also very new. Is it supposed to look kind of plasticky and like? Yeah, I think it's supposed to be kind of new and gaudy. Yeah. And that's, he's just talking about, like, oh, holy shit, like, they whoever these... built something crazy here. They built something crazy here. Like, this is... Little Asia is literally an alley that, like, cuts through back door and restaurants at, like, kitchens as you're cutting through Little Asia. And now it's just, like, yeah, gaudy, storefronty thing. And then the Knights of the Round Table. Ah, who's this guy? <laughs> so he's just talking about that.俺らも命懸けで話し合いに来た。話し合いなら
Yeah, we got a good shot right there. ボスの交通隊とか。今後アジア外以外の場所で中国人マフィアが姿を見せた。うちは容赦なくやらせてもらうとな。ああ、テレイ、パートオブスでキャメラワークディーズアルオブインタイムショットディーズアルテンスショット
So he's, he's speaking broken Japanese? Yes. He's Chinese? And then... Speaking. Oh, because the brackets. Right. So in Japan, we would have seen no subtitles until he spoke Chinese. Correct. And then we would have seen Japanese subtitles. And the Yakuza who were there like, oh fuck. <laughs> the dragon of Dojima is back. Wait, I was, but I was there before! And yeah, but you've just been introduced to the city. This is an evil spot. Yeah, that's true. Those little paper decorations. It's interesting because the, the art is very simple and clean. Like, they're not trying to... It's like, they're, they're in that interesting zone where they're going for realistic, but they don't. But they're not going straight at realistic because if yeah. you're straight at it, you hit the uncanny valley. They're sort of like going slightly askew, where you know it's not. Com it, it's maybe I don't want to deal with those guys right now. Um, it's like Can you just wait until they pass on because they're not I dead mean, on realistic. Wild Jackson Western Restaurant. Oh, let's have a drink. Poseidon power. Sounds good. He's walking around while drinking is very not Japanese. Oh, that's not, that's not what you do? You stand next to the machine, you drink it, and you put it in a recycle bin. Oh! This way nice. and then take a right of the That's a pretty good little animation of me uh, bouncing off that obstacle. That's the this the big thing with this new engine is uh, a lot of extra physics -y interaction. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. Ah, what the? I didn't even see you guys. Trying to grab this thing. Circle. Well, yeah. I mean, I I was hitting circle. So that was the problem. Okay, so I was actually trying to grab that big sign. Oh, the thing that they broke broke on my face. Just stop that. That was actually supposed the way that it's actually supposed to go. I like that it's always framed as defend, defend yourself. yourself. Yes. Oh, there was a guy to talk to you back in that corner before we. Yeah. What happened? I had to pause and beat the living hell out of everyone. Nanda, kono saki wa tachiri kenshi da. Nani o tsutateru? Hayaku ike. Sonna ni tonaru kota ne da. You guys all have the same haircuts. You have my prison haircut. They stole my prison haircut. That's all the Chinese guys. That's just the style of China. Yeah. yeah, leave one guy to stop me. Oh, no, the else gets out. There are probably more guys back there, but uh, I don't see them standing. <laughs> a lot of a chance. What? No jealousy. Cause 
何だかわからねえがほうこん兵装じゃ領地R2 whenever I want, like, I gotta be not doing something else. Yeah. I guess the sequence is always the same. Oh, I just need to get used to it. Yeah, it's always square, triangle, circle, square, triangle, circle. Okay. Yes, uh, Taylor's talking about the number of actions. Which I'm not experiencing quite yet because I'm not, you know, good at it. And you haven't unlocked stuff. And, you know, there's a lot of things in the way of. I think it'll just be X. Whenever it's. No, I have to get behind him. When he's got a dumpster behind him. So I succeeded at go to Sky Finance. That was a good. Uh, あ、キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キヤマ。キ
Let's okay, you can go right. Oh my gosh! You can squeeze down a little alley. <laughs> I didn't even but as I said at the beginning, I have not played very much of six. Okay, that was pretty amazing. That was pretty cool. Off the beaten path trophy. That's excellent. Turn, turn <laughs> two nice. Years. I'm getting all the trophies. It's my favorite thing about achievement systems. So right here, turn left here. The trophy systems is the fact that I, I play so I play so many different little games that I end up just getting a bunch of weird little cheap trophies. Right, all the first trophies. Up to five hundred yen these days. Man. Wait, this is a room? What are we doing? You're getting a room to do kara karaoke. By myself? Well, I mean, if you were on a date with someone, you could bring them with you. Uh -huh. You're not on a date, are you? Sing. Okay, so let's just sing. Today is a diamond. That sounds like a good song. Uh, try a brand new stage. I think you sing that one. Oh, no. Just me. Let's find one that you sing. But it says Cousin McKay to you, right? You're doing backup, though. I want, I want you to sing these. There we go. Today where where are you seeing this? Down at the bottom. It says it's sing, where we're doing different types of backup. Oh, okay, gotcha. You would have today, it. today is a diamond. Today is a diamond, Ian, because I'm playing Yakuza. Uh, it is six. Okay, so pause and quit. Okay, so this is just I gotta follow the instructions. Yeah. I'm. I'm. Can so, I? Can I bring a date here in the game? Yes. Okay. I mean, you can in every other game. I haven't played this one yet, but stay. Stay. Oh, it's cold. So my controller gives me feedback noises, while the game sort of just maintains the audio of the song. Yeah, nice combo going. Calculating rank. What's what? Copy oh, avatar. Oh, 112 out of 457 players in Japan. There you go. All right. So There's what was it? What did you think was going to happen? So let me. Can I give it a try? Yeah, sure. You get, do I have to get a better score to make it that happen? That might be what was happening. Tonight. You can adjust the pitch. You can't actually. Oh, it's These just, all the it's just pretending that... It would be there in a real <laughs> kind of okay pad. Maybe this one... This is not a thing in the United States. Like a room like this, like there are now. But they're really? not common. And they're not yet. So far, not impressed with you being amazingly better than me. Okay, you're doing good now. It's also. 
legitimately hard not having the new volume on board. That's true, you can't really get into the song. Video. <laughs> what? What? Who's this guy? This is uh, Yama, best friend. We're playing guitar together. And Yakuza Zero, and no longer your friend. As the lead singer, Oh. So I'm like having nostalgic, mournful thoughts of my friend while I sing. So are these songs like legit songs outside the game, or were, they, were these songs written for the game? Um, no. Oh yeah, Tail Thief, Whiskey. <laughs> Taylor's so sad. Right there. Okay, yeah, now you have to. Orphanage. Now you have to tell me what you thought was going to happen because I still don't know. So, the better ones do these amazing music videos. <laughs> where halfway through it cuts to like a music video fantasy, and they are mind blowing. When, <laughs> when we're done with this, uh, you have to show me a video. I will show you YouTube. YouTube videos. Okay. Yeah, Taylor saying check out the Yakuza videos on Zuko Two because they are out there. Uh, Twenty four hour Cinderella. Is 24 hours Cinderella? That's one of the ones not in the same. Wow. So, one of the things that I think is worth noting, I mean, you've noticed this is a dense city. Yeah. There's a right lot here. more going on per, like, per distance walkway compared yes. to say a GTA or something like that. Uh, but because this is a legitimate like dense downtown city, like whereas like GTA takes place in American cities which are very built for cars, right. drawn out parking lots. Exactly. Yeah, bike those guys. Do you literally just take out all but one of them with the bike? He's down at the health park. Yeah, you dared to get up. She better come the way back down. <laughs> um, there's some other stuff. Yeah, you, you can see like all these little restaurants in here. Oh, Gindeko's. They move. Okay. Ringer Hut? Ringer Hut? I have no idea what Ringer Hut is. Other than. Hirage? Oh, no, it's jump on. Right. Rice. What meal combo are we going to devise this time? Um, let's get the light side on and the reduced sodium jump on. And we'll get some veggie soup. I think I, let's keep it healthy. <laughs> and we're, we don't quite have our health full, so... Gyoza? Uh, we'll get some gyoza. That's good. Fill up our health. Kinit does it. So what was that movie? Did like the the Japanese equivalent of saying grace? It's a dagemas. Yes. It, it was. What was it's like that? saying grace. It's like saying grace. Okay, yeah. I wasn't sure. Yeah. I'm not sure if bowling's in this one. The gen is definitely in this one. Jeffrey hasn't had any sub stories yet. Oh, we got, okay, we just got some pink, uh, some pink experience. You wanted to look at heat. Oh yeah, let's let's see about that. There we go. Heat rush. 
essence of seizing <laughs> blunt objects. Parry attack, blade, firearm. This is repeating me. So when do these moves occur? Is it like... We'll say this one says, act, activate this vicious attack after performing a front kick while in extreme heat mode. Kneeing your enemy continuously, so it's a triangle after a front kick. I, re I really want that video to just loop and just be like, just keep kneeing him in the face. Essence just keep of going. Magnetic torture. What? Oh, I've seen this one. Okay. So put someone's face into an appliance? Yeah, I know what I want to do now. Okay. Go to the Popo, uh, uh, Tanisha Street. So, uh, so uh, Taylor is pointing at the RTS uh, element of the game, but uh, so there's a Clash Royale style game somewhere in this. Yes, there's like a sending out your squad to go fight. I, I, when I say RTS, that's probably uh, exactly. Well, I mean, I assumed it wasn't actually Warcraft. <laughs> oh man, see, of course, now I can't find an enemy when I want one. Ain't always the way. Oh, here we go. Come on, guys. Oh, is it used the vending machines? Or, oh, no. So will they follow you in here? Yeah, fighting it. Let's get it. Head to the microwave? <laughs> The clerk? Wait! Oh man! It's, it's like a it's a contextual combat that involves a guy that has to be standing. Oh there. no! The I like that after that fight, you, you, you like walked awkwardly into a glass, like glass window. <laughs> Where, you know. Like, how, how do I get out of here? <laughs> how do doors work? <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, get biked. So that last hit from the bike does like a full health bar of damage. He's that man is dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. well that guy was watching me fight so is there like there's got to be a heat move about smashing somebody in a vending machine at some point right? I'm sure there there's is. so many vending machines there's around there's got to be I mean that is just accurate <laughs> yeah. that's just how many vending machines there are in Japan yeah it's just my, my, my favorite vending machine story was when I went to um but we had a long layover in Dubai when I was uh, going to India for work. And in Dubai, they had a uh, vending machine. Oh. What? Oh, on a car? That's nice. In Dubai, they have vending machines that sell gold. Like, they have, they have like, the current market value of gold, like, t like on a little ticker that, like, changes. And you can, like, watch it and, like, buy gold when it's, like, you know, at, at a low. And then the gold will appreciate <laughs> I guess is how it works. I don't know. Oh, I'm like trying to imagine like it was like at a, it was like at the mall by the Burj Khalifa, like 
you just you, just, you go to the mall, you know, eat right. eat at the the Red Lobster, and then buy some gold. That's so bizarre. <laughs> go home. What is this? It's Red Lobster. Just watching TV inside a video. <laughs> Night Planet. It's like an ad for a movie. About the mysterious ninth planet that didn't exist before. It didn't, you know, it's Yeah, another yeah. planet. Exactly. It's the biggest worst planet, which is a very neat thing to be. Yeah, see, it's 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 like a big fish in a small pond now. It's the best of something. It's instead best. of being the worst of something. Yeah, instead of this weird planet that like kind of orbited its biggest moon. <laughs> but it's weird. Because Sharon's like 25% the mass of Pluto. We sang our K-pop. Uh, we stuck a guy's head in a microwave. <laughs> I think we might have had the... Uh, that might have been... The, 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 the best Yakuza experience we can have right now. Like, let me, let me go to the other arcade. Just see what they have. So, uh, is I, he... I'm going to go win at a claw machine. What? That's my plan. Oh, there's darts here too. So, so my kids have been seeing ads for a mobile game that claims that basically, like, you play a claw machine game on the mobile game. There's no claw machine game in there. Allegedly, you play a claw machine game on your tablet, and And then if you win, they ship you the toy. Ship you the toy. (laughs) Ship you the toy. And I'm like, kids, there's no way this is as good as it sounds. Whatever you've been seeing in this ad, just. Please, uh, I, I'm trying to teach them to take things with grains of salt. So wait, what are we doing? I wasn't paying attention. Uh, I'm playing darts. You gotta hit the button at the right time to be as accurate as possible. Nice. And I have crappy darts right now too. So getting the bullseye in the right—I mean, getting your reticle in the right place and having the right timing. So, like, you just rest your reticles in a wrong spot. So you have to actively hold it in the right spot, which is similar to previous games. Uh, Nice one. Okay. Player to playing by himself, it's sad. Oh, so so the reticle is naturally in a place you don't want it to be. Yes. And so you have to hold it steady. That's clever. I've never seen good. someone do something quite like that. That's pretty clever. It's that part is similar to the other one. The other one you have a different method for determining the accuracy determining of the shot. The accuracy of the shot it looks like it goes way off if you're you know, not in the red zone. Which is like real life when I'm playing darts. Darts is very hard. And also, as I noted, I have the shitty darts right now. <laughs> so there's there's both being good at the mini game and uh... Taylor says you have to show the baseball mini game. I don't know if we do, because I kind of only had about two hours to play this. I really should head home. Why no? Nice. Do you, you mean the baseball batting cages mini game, or the full-on baseball mini game? Because those where are you're different. Ma- where you're managing where a team. you're managing a baseball team. Yeah. He's to say the batting cages. Well, you're getting better and better at this. Well, that's not good. Eagle 20, not bad. Triple 9, I'm waiting for me right now. It's a good shot. Got it. Nice. I'm not understanding these rules at all, but it's fine. 
Uh, you're trying to get a total of 301 points in its few turns as well. Oh, gotcha. And I believe if shield is right, you try to go for trip 20s if you really want to get crazy scores. Uh, but I had never played this darts mini game before. <laughs> so I feel pretty good about myself. Thanks. All right. Uh, that's just a little bit over two hours. Oh, yeah. We got another text. Just tips and things. Newsletter. <laughs> so they created so much content for this game. There is so much valuable information. This is here from the Tips Newsletter. You'll find items that are considered valuable. Valuables have their own tabs. The items are new. Blah, blah, blah. Valuables. Part of the story. You can have to throw away your cell phone. A blade of meat shield that will keep the clothes out of the six silver It's true, because you're very good at 301. Uh, there's also these weirder ones like cricket, which is like you have to throw a dart at a section uh, multiple times, and getting it to double or triple counts as having to hit it with multiple darts. And once you hit that section three times, you can start scoring that section or throwing additional darts at it. <laughs> and if you score it uh, like six times, now you're overdoing it. You don't get any points anymore. And if the other person manages to score it three times. Uh, then the it closes out, like they get some points for it, but no one gets to score in that section. And you have to anymore. keep track of all this? Well, the game doesn't. Well, play. yeah, but like in real life, if you played it, they make special like blackboards that you can be like, I've scored once on the 20, I've scored oh, wow. twice on the 20, I've scored trips on the 20. Uh, Bilbo bought this game, he's Japan's darts champion, told him to apparently. <laughs> I like the new Darts mini game. It's, a, it's an interesting tweak. Alright. We gotta go, though. We gotta go. Thank it's you late. so much Thank you so much for introducing this to me, Ian. Absolutely happy to have done so. I, I, never, I, I mean, there's no way I could have, you know, I was ever going to have sort of the um, attention span to, to devote to, 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 to seeing what was good in this game without you helping me through it, so I really appreciate I'm, that. I'm glad I could. And again, once you start it, it's... Oh, wait. Here's one of my favorite little things. Okay. Just like just that, that animation, <laughs> and actually, let me. There's got to be a vending machine somewhere nearby, right? Yep, never far. Are you gonna do it while drinking? I don't think you can do it while drinking. But be on camera again. I do love just like walking around and drinking. I don't know. There's just the, like the being in Japanness of <laughs> walking around with a drink. Hey, New York hot dog. Oh, that's closed. Just be able to go down the stairs and see the games. Taylor knows what I'm talking about. So we, yeah, so 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 Taylor, so so this is a very Japanese game because because the smallest barriers will stop you from going places you're not supposed to go. Would, would the perfect British game be one where you can't resist getting into a queue that's lining up um, anywhere in the world? Oh man, Pocket Circuit Racing finally closed. Oh, is that? That's truly <laughs> tragic. Oh, who's this guy? Whoa, I was not ready for that fight. Can you pick up a moped and hit them with it? So I can't right now. Once I get that R2 meter on my screen and I can do that, yeah. <laughs> The Taylor says that because he's English, he feels comfortable in games that have logging in games. <laughs> oh, no, I got busted out of my... Bilbo's like, yay, but... Oh, yeah, Bilbo showed up and we were just doing silly minigames. Has... I don't know if he's seen a fight yet. What? <laughs> that was a great shot! The cars are just driving and it's like, get out of our way. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Ooh, ooh, what do I have here? What, what what did you have there? I'm not sure. I think it was. You jammed it into his gut, whatever it was. He's fine. <laughs> here you has never killed anyone ever. He's a noble man. <laughs> All right. All right. We really do have to go now. So. Uh, Goodbye. Um, I'll probably, when I put this on YouTube, I'll throw some videos up and, uh, and a subscribe button. And uh, thank you again to Ian for yes. doing this for me. Bye, guys.